first of all, I'd like to make a statement that uh, I'm kind of biased here. I've worked for Brett's RV and Marine, and this is Dustin Brett's, one of the owners of six dealerships, correct? Yeah, we have six dealerships now. And you run Billings? Yep, Billings is home for me and my family. Good afternoon, Dustin. Darla and I worked here uh, two years ago, it was our last year. And we, we started out at the old store. This is a brand new, awesome, awesome place. And we helped get all the bugs out of the building in the beginning. Sure did. So why don't you uh, tell the audience how you got started, how your family got started? Well, gosh, you know, we, uh, my grandparents actually started the business back in 1967 in Missoula, Montana. And over the years, we've been able to grow and, and acquire the product lines that we want to sell. And, and, you know, over the last 10 years, really, we've added dealerships. We're up to six locations now. Um, we work with folks all over Montana and Idaho, but we also, you know, a good portion of our business is done across the country. Yeah. And you do some special things, which uh, we have, when we came here, we came here today, we uh, did our daughter's wedding, which most of you know. Um, we came here to, he has a free dump station. You can fill your water tank. They have 99 cent propane during the summer. And it's just, it's really nice if you, I don't know, Dustin usually will let me stay out here and hook up to electricity overnight. I'm sure he would do the same for you. Always mention my name so he knows that uh, you, you heard about it through us. But it's a real nice facility and great people. We, we just, we come back, we just love seeing the people and visiting with them. We're not getting to see Jan today, which is a little disappointing. Yeah, she got, a, she got a day off, but Jan is, she's been with us since I've been here in Billings and just does a fantastic job in our parts department. So if you need parts or accessories, repair parts, Jan is phenomenal. Yeah, I think Montana was built where they put Jan, wasn't it? She's you know, been here it, since the beginning. She's fantastic. Born you know, in Butte, we, right? She's a Butte gal. Um, I was lucky enough to, to marry a Butte gal myself, so, uh, you know, that's a They're great They're tough town. ones, though. They are They're tough. They're <laughs> tough, tough gals, aren't they? <laughs> yep, they put up with us though, so that's yeah. a good thing. So, so and uh, like uh, I know you carry Keystone lines. Yep. Do you still carry Integra motorhomes? Yep, homes? we have Integra motorhomes, Tiffin motorhomes, um, Forest River and Thor now. Uh, but really, we, we represent over 40 manufacturers now in Montana and Idaho, and are really able to find you know any of the floor plans or configurations that about anybody's after right now. And you carry used. Oh, lots of used, um, and we go through a reconditioning process on all those used units, as well as, you know, inspections from making sure all the systems are working the way they should. So, and I'll put a number down because I know a lot of people. Uh, I remember when I was working here, we had a lot of class class Bs come in, a lot oh, yeah. of class C RVs, which I know the class Bs are really hard to find. And uh, Dustin, they have they have a uh, website where you can go on and see what the inventory is on their used RVs. It's brettsrv.com, B-R-E-T-Z-R-V.com, and we have the inventory listed for actually all the stores now in one place. Correct. Awesome. So. Well, it's really it, it, the parts department's good, and the guys in the service department, I know they're all well trained. Yep. Um, had a lot of experiences with the guys out there, and. Still friends with a lot of them and uh, now, some Bill, new did, guys. Did you know that we started a second shift in the shop now? I know you're doing 12, 4 Yeah, we do four twelves now. So awesome. we actually have technicians working on coaches 12 hours a day, seven days a week. There you go. Um, it's really it's really increased our capacity to help keep our customers on the road. Yeah, and, and you take people off the road too? We sure do. Awesome. Because yep. a lot of the dealerships are not real excited about doing that if they they have their own customers, they want to take care of them first, but you bet. one thing about it, when you have a large, nice facility like this, uh, it makes it nice if you can help people because it's nothing worse than being stranded on no, the road. No, and we, we know that that's our, our industry's biggest opportunity is, is to be able to take care of customers while they're traveling. Well, I'm sure you know, one nice word hardly gets heard, but any bad words are always spread all over, and, and a lot the of the RV industry has to fight that, so it's always a battle, I know, to make things better and better all the time at least yeah. you're always trying I know always trying and always we, we appreciate we the business from from all over the country so yeah so anyway I just wanted to, to introduce you to Dustin he's uh, he's been my boss for a couple of times and maybe again in the future you never know but uh, come to Brett's RV there's a bunch of them they're in Idaho and, yep. and in Montana and they're the biggest RV dealer in Montana yep. by far if you go look at the other ones, they're by far the biggest. 
So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll show you some of the inventory and stuff on the yard. Thanks, everyone. Service department parking. Here's the dump station. Propane. Got two miles here. Fresh water. All kinds of used motorhomes here. And you know me, I'm a Class A guy. I love the Class A's. New Integras. Dustin was saying he wanted me to just drive one out for a couple of weeks to so let me know what he thought of what I thought of it, right? That's a great idea. <laughs> All kinds of beautiful rigs here. Open road, Allegro. Georgie Town. I call him Georgie Town. Georgie Town. A lot of Class A's. I mean, that's, you don't usually see that many Class A's in one place. These are, these are gas powered Integras, yeah, these huh? Are the new Integras, yep. Okay, I hadn't seen a gas one in A's. I remember seeing those. They have a full line of Class C Integras now, also. Really? Yep. talked about too much Dustin is boats you know uh, first thing you get is a fifth wheel and the second thing you get is a boat that goes behind your fifth wheel isn't that correct that's right on about about two-thirds of all of our uh, fifth wheel owners here in Montana have a boat that goes behind it so. yeah uh, that, that's like mandatory in Montana and then anymore the class C business has grown so much that towing their boats with their Class C's. There you the go. water's far enough away around here, it just makes sense to have another option. And then they can pull another trailer behind that, right? <laughs> that gets a little sporty, <laughs> but I suppose. I saw a guy with a car towing a tent trailer with a big boat behind the tent trailer. Oh my goodness. I figured you might have a conversation with him if he pulled in here. I was going to say, that guy needs an upgrade. And you can just drive forever around here. They got an Airstream, huh? I'm surprised you let that sit out there and not in your yard at all, huh? I sold my Airstream, actually. Did you really? I did. Now what do you got? Uh, Grand Design Reflection. Put it in the bunkhouse. Little 28 oh, yeah. bunkhouse. There, there you go. go.
Here's the service department at Brett's RV and Marine. So you can tell all the guys are hard at work here, working on RVs and servicing them and getting them ready for sale and camping and winterizing. They do a winterized special for the people here in Montana. Man, look at that class B. That's a that's a class A class B there. There's another one. Got some nice ridges in there. And you have a paint shop too, correct? Yep, full body shop. Full body shop, paint, detail shop.